Good evening, everyone. All right, so I will end up looking up up here because apparently um, three men and a baby is playing, and I'm currently watching it. So, apologize for my distractedness up there. But anyway, I just finished this book, Undead and Unreturnable, by Mary Janice Davidson. It is what is it? Book four in the Betsy Taylor. Betsy Taylor vampire book series. I have to say, no, this I'd say this wasn't one of the best books in the entire in the series, and I've only read five, including my own. So like this, the fourth book, and then my own, which is Undead and Uneasy. Right? Yes, Undead and Uneasy. What can I say about this book? This book was okay for me. This book felt sort of like a filler in the series. It had- okay, so we have this ghost that appears and she's part of this thing, like, there's um, there's this killer happening in the book. And that's the whole mystery, like, the main- part of the main thing that's going on, other than her, you know, like, having problems with Sinclair and, like, this whole wedding thing going on and him just- I don't- it was okay. It was- an, it was okay. I wouldn't say it was enjoyable, but it was okay. And, like, you know, I don't have a whole lot much to say because, you know, as I said, I this felt like a filler and I didn't have much, like, enjoyment with the whole, like, it says undead and unreturnable. I, undead and unreturnable. I don't understand the title of it. So, like, the other ones, like, um, the unemployed one. She was looking for a job, and she had a job, and, you know, she didn't want to just be lazing about. She didn't want to, you know, be living in her friend, technically her friend's house, you know, without being able to at least try and pay rent. So, that made sense. Un the first book, Undead and Unwed, that's just, <laughs> I don't get that. I don't get that. why you would ever call something like that, call a book like that. Undead and Unappreciated, which... Um, book three you know it does make sense because uh, she did feel like she was being unappreciated and you know like all that stuff and finally like she comes to the belief like i do actually am in love i am in love with sinclair and like you know all that happens but undead and unreturnable i don't that did not make sense with any of the title like any anything that happened in here <laughs> sorry my nose just decided to sound like i'm sick but it was okay. It's this is set just just before um, Christmas Eve because the epilogue it's showing um it t it says like the dawn was rising on Christmas Eve, so like, that's when it ha when, that's when when this is going on all through like the Christmas season like the first half of December pretty much that stuff. But yeah and. Um, the only ex really exciting thing is what happens with George the Fiend. I'm not going to say what happens with him, but there's something at the end of the book is like, Oh my god! Oh my god! George! 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 It was like one of the most greatest things I read in this book. Other than Betsy freaking out over the Book of the Dead. That's all I'm going to say, because something happened with the Book of the Dead. Just like it did in the last book. Da da da! Oh my god, that was cheesy. <laughs> Whatever. So, like, literally those two things. The whole, um, killer guy, and, like, it's called- he's called the driveway killer. And at first, I didn't think it was a good title for him. But as it progressed, and we find- like, something is finally- like, said is, um, why he's called the driveway killer. Well, part of why. Is because- this person snatches people from their driveway. Either they're going to their car or they're, like, getting out of their car in their driveway, so. That's part of, I'm guessing, part of why he's called the driveway killer, but, you know, he leaves the body in, you know, a parking lot when he's done with them. So. <sighs> I don't really understand, so. But, you know, it was an okay book. I'm not going to completely recommend it, but, you know, I think you probably should read it 
just as sort of filler. You know, as I said, it is a filler book and just if you're going to read it in order, um, you can read it separately. Like I read Undead and Uneasy and it's perfectly fine. But, you know, if you're going to read the like entire series, don't skip this book, even though I am saying it is a filler. That's what, how I feel it is. But yeah, it was an okay book is, yeah. Um, anything else I could say? There is one character, like, it's this, like, I can't remember her name. I think it starts with an M, Marguerite. I, I don't know, it starts with an M. And, you know, I didn't particularly like this character. Like, she is an old, old ass vampire. And, you know, even, <laughs> I did not like her. And even the characters in the book were like, I do not like her. Or they were, like, afraid of her. <sighs> but she's technically a librarian, and just... Then this newsletter gets created, and Betsy, you know, makes a column, and just, like... I... A lot of the stuff that happened in here, except for, you know, like, the whole plot of the serial killer thing and the whole wedding thing, a lot of this... A lot of the stuff that happens in here, at least right now, it just felt like you just plopped it in there. It's like, oh, I'm just gonna put that in there. Oh, I'm just gonna put that in there. It doesn't have to make sense. At least, that's, to me, that's what I think. But, you know, there might be some plot of, some thought to, like, why some of these things are just plopped in there. Like, you know, the whole Betsy writing a column thing in the newspaper and such. So, yeah. Anyway, as I said, this is an okay book. You can read it. You don't have to read it. But I would suggest, like, if you're going to read the series, you know, read the, you know, filler-type books. Because some series, there will be filler-type books where it just... I have this information that it's not all that important, but it needs to, you know, it needs to be said, and there is a lot... And, you know, it needs to happen. So sometimes you just have a filler book where, like, if you have a series and you have a set of things, like, this is going to happen in these books and so on and so forth. But I have these situations that are important to the story, but not so important that they need to be in here or along those lines. But... And like they they have they are like really great situations and I love that I've written these situations out, but they don't really fit in some of these books. So well, somehow they all fit together. So you know, I'll write a filler book. They're not in the I know that was a weird way of explaining it, but I have a weird way of verbally explaining things. Sometimes it's just word vomit out of my mouth. <laughs> But yes, so, anyway, as I said, this is okay book. Read it, you don't have to read it, but, yeah, it's an okay book. I did, i give it a six, at least. Because, like, it's not, like, in the middle, but part of it was, you know, it was, it was an okay book, so I'll give it a six. So, that's this book, and I can't wait to finally, you know, get to, um, Undead and Un... To get to Undead and Uneasy, which I get to reread. And I finally get to check it off my list. And, it's like, and uh, what else? I can't wait to find out what Undead and Unpopular is. I hope the title matches what basically the plotline of the story is. Which means, like, something has to happen which makes her a very unpopular person. More than likely, I'm gonna say, like, within the vampire world or something like that. So... Because uh, I do know what Undead and Uneasy is more like. So, and there's that. Yeah. I know what that's like and basically what the plot line of that is. Sort of. I remember vaguely all of it is. Um, but yeah. I vaguely remember. I remember certain parts. But I don't want to say it. What's there. Because I will read the back to you another time. And um, I will get to do a book review for that. So. This is done. I get to take it to the library. And now I'm back to this book. And I'm nearly finished it. I've cut... 
four chapters left because I'm on chapter 18 and there's 21 chapters. But yeah, I'll show you something. I still have this much left and that's four chapters right there and they're freaking long. Okay, it's really annoying. So hopefully I will have this book review sometime this week. So yes. Yeah, so I hope you like this little weird type of book review. It's like, no, it, it's hard to give a book review when you have such wishy-washy like, eh, it was an okay book. Like, I do like Betsy and I like Sinclair is starting to get better. Um, Jessica and Tina and, and Mark are on the same level. Like, they're okay characters. They help. They they work with this whole plot. I do like the situation that's going about. The one thing I don't like about Mary Janice is her um the way she writes. It just sounds it just sounds a little weird. Like even with it being like I think it's uh based in like the two thousands. When's the, where's the copyright date? Copyright date um the first copyright I see is. 2005. There we go. That's what it is. So it's it's in the millennium and it makes sense for some of the stuff but like even stuff that is is based in like the 2000s I have read some books not not to my knowledge a lot but still I'm not a huge fan of like how the, her, this dialogue is, it just feels very, like, I don't, it is with all, so far, all four of these books. Though I'm thinking, I, I liked Undead and Uneasy, and I kept it. So, somehow, I liked her stuff. Like, I like it to a certain degree, because I do really like, I did really like Undead and Uneasy. But, you know, since reading it from the beginning, there's just, I don't know, there's a certain, like, it being like from the age of like 20 age where it's a lot of like if you've read it you'll understand the talk I'm talk this the, the dialogue I'm talking about like even in like within her brain when she's like doing her own like thought speak and stuff like that when she's thinking to herself it's it feels like it's a 20 year old or like something like that and this woman she's 30 something so you, you're, I don't know. It just feels like she hasn't really grown up in a certain degree. Like, cause, okay, yes, we all get set in this certain way, like, that we take through our years. But, you know, you do grow up in certain aspects, so. But it feels like she never did. Again, she just, you know. But anyway, that's the, really the only problem I have is, like, the way Mary Janice writes her stuff, but, you know, like, the just the plot and where it goes. I am very happy with that. I'm, I'm very, like, yeah, I'm very happy with that. Just the way she writes it and a lot of the, uh, the, 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 the talking, the dialogue. That's where I have my problem. So anyway, yes. I hope you like this video and this weird the weirdness of it. If you liked it, hit that like button down there and you can leave comments down below if you have read it, how you felt about this because I have very, very wishy-washy feelings about it. So it would be nice if, you know, someone else had like different opinions about it. But don't leave negative comments. Do not be negative or causing drama or just trolling and just being nasty. Okay? We do not need negativity in the world. Negativity just all that nasty stuff. We don't need it. We need positivity in the world. Okay? Yes. All right. And this is the first time you're watching my video. Hit that big red subscribe button down there by my picture to get more book reviews, hauls, unboxing, unbagging, because some things come in a bubble wrap, vanilla envelope, or plastic bag wrapped thing. Vlogmas, random vlogs, and random random videos that have I have no idea where to categorize them. All right. I am going to try to read some more of this because you know that way I can get the book review up for it because I do have some opinions for this and you know yes I'm being weird so anyway I hope you like this video and I will see you all in my next one good night everyone